and we drove around with them in our car. You know, everybody had one in their car hoping that somebody would see it. Like many relatives of 9-11 victims, the moment they heard the news, they rushed to New York. Sue Cosgrove never lost hope that her brother Kevin, who worked in one of the towers, was still alive. And we had buttons made and we wore buttons. Her brother's body was among the first recovered. And one of the reasons he was one of the first to be found was because he was found three blocks away. He actually didn't get crushed by the building. He was imploded out of the building. Sue says talking about what happens has helped her family. I just want for people to remember that it took a lot for them to accomplish what they did. What's not to allow them to do something like that again? You know, I don't want for anyone to know the same pain that I know because it's deep. It's very painful. It hurts. Father Paul Zagabi is Sue's priest. He has helped her family heal spiritually. And she realized that not only did she not lose her faith, but that her faith was stronger than ever. And so, to be honest with you, um, I didn't say anything profound. The Lord had a way of speaking to her. Since the family tragedy, Sue's husband came up with the idea to plant this tree in memory of Sue's brother. It's a way to remember the beauty of his life. Sue says every morning that she wakes up, she looks through her bedroom window at the tree so that she can say hello to her brother. Now, Sue comes from a big family. She's one of seven children, and she most remembers Kevin as the one who was the calming influence. He was the one who would always, you know, be in the corner of an event saying, now you need to behave yourself. Now you need to pay attention to what you're saying. Now, you really don't have to be upset about that. Is that really a big deal? You know, and of course, you'd sit there like, well, you're just taking all the fun out of being mad at something. Sue says 9-11 was a tragic reminder of why family should always be first. Well, who would have known that on Monday the 10th when my brother left me a voicemail saying, nice, I always get your voicemail, and my voicemail back to him was, nice, you did it back to me, that that would be our last conversation. In Mobile, Angela Russell, WKRG 5.